G'day, I'm James, and here's a puzzle I'm calling Freaky Fraction Splitting. It goes as follows. Take nine objects, nine pebbles, nine coins, nine cucumbers, nine of anything you like, and make a pile of nine. But then split that pile into two, so maybe we'll split into a pile of, say, I know, five and four. So five, one, two, three, four, five, and four, one, two, three, four. But on the side, on a piece of paper, I'm going to write the fractions one-fifth and one-fourth and combine them by adding. One-fifth plus one-fourth makes a... Um, 4 twentieths plus 5 twentieths is 9 twentieths. So I'm going to create these crazy fractions as I split piles. So I'm going to split this pile. I'm going to split that 5 into a pile of 2 and a pile of 3. 2 and 3. So I'll keep splitting everything into 2 piles. 2 and 3, I'll create the fraction 1 tooth plus 1 three, which I believe is 5 sixths. I'll keep splitting as much as I can. Maybe that 4 can now split into, say, a 3 and a 1. 1, 2, 3 and a 1. 1 third plus 1 one -th makes a 4 thirds. Keep splitting if you can. That three, you can do a two and a one maybe. Or I'll do a one or two to give me some space. Uh, one one plus one tooth makes three halves. Uh, that two splits into a one and a one. Okay, I can keep splitting. One and a one. One one plus one one makes two. Uh, what else can I split? All single items out, they're three. I can split that three into a two and a one. A one or a two, there we go. Two and a one, a one tooth plus a one one makes three halves. Okay, keep going. I split the two into a one and a one. And split this two into one and a one. So I've got a one month plus a one month equals a two, and another one month plus a one month equals a two. And now I should have nine single piles. Looks like I've got nine single piles. I split all my cucumbers up. Great. All right, now I've got this list of crazy fractions. Now here's what's freaky about them. Now multiply those fractions together. All right, a great big long multiplication. Here goes. Uh, room, nine twentieths, five sixths, four thirds, three tooths, two, three tooths, two, two. That's it. Multiply them all together and simplify this thing because this looks pretty beastly right now. But right now I see a 20 there and a five and a four there. That cancels, that's great. I see um, a six here and a three and a two there. They cancel. I see a three there, a three there, a two there, a two there, a two there, a two there. And I just see this equals nine. The whole number nine, the number of cucumbers I started with. Coincidence? I don't know. No, it's not a coincidence. Let's try it again. Let's try a different splitting uh, diagram. Let me clean this board. I'll do it one more time. And we'll make different choices along the way this time. Let's not start with five and four. We'll start with completely different. Um, this time, maybe I'll do something like, uh, I'll just write numbers for starters. Six and three. Great. So one six plus one third. Uh, what is that? So that's one six plus two six it makes one half. Uh, maybe I'll split the six and say four and two. Uh, one quarter plus one half is three quarters. I split the three into a two and a one. Uh, one half plus one is three halves. Split the two into a one and a one. One one plus one one makes two. Uh, split the two into a one and a one. One one plus one one makes a two. Split the four into a uh, three and a one, that's good. Uh, one third plus a one makes four thirds. Uh, three has to go two and one. One two plus one is three halves. And two goes to one and one. One plus one equals two. Multiply these fractions together. Here goes. One half times three quarters times three halves times two times two times four thirds times uh, three halves times uh, four thirds times two. All right. Uh, a fours cancel. Uh, two and two cancel. Two and two. A two and a two cancel. A three and a three cancel. What survives is nothing on the bottom. Just one on the bottom. And one times three times three is nine. Whoa, whoa, welcome to freaky fraction splitting. So, why is this working? No matter what choice you make along the way, I claim you'll always get the product of nine for those freaky fractions. And the question is, why is that the case? And is nine special here? Does this work for any other number? Hmm, lots to play with here. Really cool puzzle here. Can you figure it out? I've written up the solution so you can actually look up the solution if you want because I, I, was, I was freaked out this morning when I was playing with this, but here it is for you to play with too. And if you like, you can read my solutions um, to this puzzle as well. But give it some good thought too. Grand stuff.